So we've had a look at how Business Central connects to Outlook, but now I want to resume my work in Business Central itself. So I'm going to click on Dynamics 365, and then I'm going to click on Business Central as one of my Dynamics 365 applications. When we click on Business Central, it will take us through to our Business Central homepage, sometimes referred to as Role Center, which includes our main navigation to access different parts of our system, um, some insights here um, that are being fed to us from the data that we have in the system, and then we've also got uh, other bits of information um, enabling us to quickly shortcut to elements such as overdue sales invoices, which we can follow up on. But what we can do, depending on our role within the business, is we can actually change the view of our, our homepage. So clicking on settings and then my settings, we can go into change from business manager, which is sort of a, a quite a broad view of everything that goes on in our system from finance through to sales and purchasing, um, to accountant, which is going to show us purely finance related activities um, relevant to our role as opposed to a business owner, for example. So I'll, I'll click on continue, click on OK, and it will refresh the home page so my menu matches the selection I've just made. OK, so now we've got finance, um, which is our, our core areas of the system, such as journals, VAT statements, and then cash management, and, and so on. But you'll also see that there's a number of shortcut tabs here as well, which means that for some of these elements, we don't have to navigate through the menus. Um, we can just click um, and, and go into a customer list, for example, uh, making that navigation quite easy. Okay. To go back, all I need to do is click Escape on the keyboard, so I don't have to keep sort of clicking, clicking on my mouse to, to navigate backwards and forwards. And because Microsoft are permanently looking to improve the platform with the recent user interface changes, uh, we tend to find that it doesn't generally take more than a couple of clicks to, to navigate to the area that you need to. So the speed of process and workflow should improve using Business Central, which is great. Moving a bit further down, we can see that we've got shortcuts to common documents we might want to create. So, for example, sales credit memo and a purchase credit memo. Um, so easy to create there. And we've also got some common reports, um, such as the income statement, which we can run just from that drop down there. Moving further down still, we have some shortcuts to lists. So purchase documents due today. That's quite a good one. Um, so obviously the documents that we owe money for. Um, so easy to shortcut there. And then moving a little bit further down, we've got a couple of other key areas, such as um, bank account balances, um, a couple of embedded Power BI reports, so sales by customer. Um, and then we've also got uh, cash flow forecast. We can show cash flow forecasting in a se separate session. So just let us know when we can go through that with you. Um, you've also got a number of other charts for which you're free to choose um, or just navigate um, to the next chart um, to show the information that, that you want to see. So homepage, condensed view of everything that we might need to start with um, using the menus and the shortcuts then to, to start various activities as we go. Another element worth mentioning whilst we're still on the homepage is the concept of intelligent cloud insights, which draws upon Microsoft's machine learning and AI intelligence in the background that's always working on the system. So if I go into Intelligent Cloud Insights, it's going to try and show me elements um, or data within the system that I may not have realized existed or would take me quite a long time to pull out the detail for. So as I say, using that machine learning and AI platform, um, we've got information pushed to us. So 10 of our customers were late with payments. We may not know this, so it's good to know next time we generate an invoice for them. Um, and then we, we didn't pay 13 invoices on time. Again, useful information to know when we're managing those customer and supplier relationships. But it's, it's worth noting here as well that you will get more insights or better quality insights the more data you have in the system. So you should see that improve um, as your usage continues. Okay, so that's it in terms of a homepage layout. Um, what we'll move on to next is the, uh, our chart of accounts to show you that in a little bit more detail. And we're also going to explain the concept, uh, concept of posting and posting groups as well. To order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30 day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.